Yo, what's up YouTube? It's Mr. Eddie Barber and I'm back with another haircut tutorial. In this one, we're doing a drop fade comb over. Very simple steps. If you guys follow any of my videos, you'll know the steps that I'm gonna use and it's gonna look very familiar. So what I need you to do is stick around to the end of the video, there's a giveaway. Stick around for all the instructions. First, we're gonna start off with our 5-0 blade and we're balding it out up into that line. Of course, if you guys follow my tutorials, you know that I always start off with the 5-0 attachment to bald out. We're no longer in 1943 in segregation and we're no longer balding out with our trimmers. It's time to get past that, guys. But of course, I'm also gonna use my fade scale here. I know some of you guys hate it, but you're here to learn. So, we're still balding out with our 5-0 attachment. And I learned this technique in the Southern Hemisphere of the United States of America in the deep south of Texas. So if you look here closely on the face scale, that's where I've learned this technique to ball out with my 5-0 blade. This technique here, I'm using my shaver. And what I did was, just to let you know, I went all the way over here from America, I traveled all the way over here to Europe to learn this technique. And I've learned that if you use the shaver, it's gonna get extra close, it's gonna get extra bald, and the fade is just gonna la last a few extra days. And this is what you want for your clients. You want the best for them. If you saw there, I was flicking out at the top, and now I'm using my trimmer to buff out any line that I left with that shaver. That technique, if you guys are curious, I traveled from Europe, and I went all the way down to the continent of Africa, to the country of the Sudan, here here on the western coast of Africa and I learned this technique. So now I have my two blade on my detachable and I learned this technique here all the way in the deep heart of China. I had to study under different monks and different sifus to learn this technique. And what this does is this allows you to see a lot clearly in your fade versus then fading into bulks of hair. So I just use my two blade to reduce the bulk there. Now I will put my and this envies with the lever open and I'm creating a one inch guideline. This technique here, I had to travel from China and I had to go all the way back to America. So if you see here on the fade scale, here's China. I went all the way back over here and traveled to America to learn this technique. And all I'm doing is I'm creating the guideline and then I'm working my way down slowly. I'm just closing the lever every so bit and I'm closing the lever. So I learned that technique in California, in the deep hearts of California. I was on the beach in Venice and I learned this technique from a surfer guy, amazing. And I put it into play, I implemented it to you and I love, I'm here to show it. So as you see here, I showed how I'm closing the lever slightly and I'm just going up about three quarters of the way into that guy line. And what I want you guys to notice and what they told me in California is that the line will lighten a little bit as you close your lever to completely erase that guideline. So as you see here, the line is slowly erasing bit by bit. Now, how is this possible, guys? That is because I set my tools up properly. I will leave a link in the description below to a video that I made talking about setting your tools up properly. If you set up your tools properly, they will flow together well. So as you saw there, I, there was not much work that needed to be done from the shaver all the way through this process that you see here. Very simple. I'm just using the corners and I'm just making this thing happen by any means necessary. Now, of course, with this technique, what you wanna do is you wanna make sure that you're finished with this process before you move on to the next step that you see here. And I've got my wall one guard with the lever open and I'm creating a one inch guideline above that. And if you're curious, for this technique, I had to go to the Northern Hemisphere and travel into the deep cold of Canada. I had to go all the way to, to uh, Saskatchewan. I hope I'm pronouncing that correctly, but I went all the way to Saskatchewan to learn this technique. They told me that if you go in with the one guard, with the lever open, right above where you leave off with the open, it will set you up for success. And that's what you're seeing right here. What I also learned in Saskatchewan was that after you create that guideline with the lever open with the one guard, you just completely close it and then you go up right underneath and it shall lighten that line that you created with the lever open with no guard. 
And see, as you see, all of the years that I've studied, all of the years that I've been barbering, all of the years that I've done all of this mystic traveling, I've learned that these techniques and I put them into play and I'm here to show them with you guys here on YouTube. If you've been paying attention, I put my wall half guard on and I have the lever halfway open and I'm just going up and I'm attacking that line. You'll see that line slowly erasing, slowly erasing and it's just going away slowly. So you can see the blend is just coming out flawlessly and all I'm doing is I'm working my way to the lever close. It's very simple. And if you're really curious about where I learned that technique from, I had to go travel all the way from the Northern Hemisphere all the way down to the Southern Hemisphere and the continent of South America. I I learned this one in Brazil, uh, particularly on the beaches of Curitiba. I had to learn these techniques. If you look here, Curitiba is right here on the coast. And man, it was such a good time. We learned how to fade on the beach, did a little bit of surfing on top of it. And I learned this technique and I'm here to show it with you guys on YouTube. So now I have my wall one and a half guard with the lever open, which is essentially a two, which is essentially the equivalent almost of the two blade, but I'm just going up to his parietal ridge and I'm just going straight up off of the head. I'm not going into the curvature of his head. I'm paying attention and being mindful of head shape and contour. So I'm not trying to follow his head shape. I want to make sure I just go straight up off of his parietal ridge and go straight up with that one and a half. So now as you see here, I'm doing some clipper over comb to connect the short hairs to the long hairs. And all I'm doing is I'm put, bringing the comb up through the hair and I'm looking at any excess hair that I see in there and I'm basically getting rid of it. Zip, 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 getting rid of it just like that. Zip, zip, zip. You see how easy that is? Now, if you guys are curious about clipper over comb, if you guys struggle with clipper over comb, I made a video about clipper over comb and I poured my heart and soul into it. It's a 30 minute video. If you guys are still struggling with clipper over comb, I highly suggest that you guys go check it out. See, as you see here, I'm coming back with my two blade because one thing I like about the blades is they cut a lot cleaner than the guards. You get a lot quicker action and reaction with the blades than rather using the guard. So if you're curious, after I was done partying it up in uh, Brazil, went to Carnival, had some fun, I had to travel all the way down to Argentina and I learned this technique here. All I did was I clean in and clean that up with the two. So as you see here, I'm just cleaning up. Here's that transition as it transitions down towards the occipital bone. See again, I'm going straight up off of his parietal ridge. And now, a word from our sponsors. Who the hell am I kidding? We don't have any sponsors. Get back to the damn tutorial. Here on the second side, you follow the steps on the first side. It's pretty easy to know what I'm doing now. So all I'm gonna do, I'm gonna, I've just fast forwarded the video. You guys can just watch what I do and just make sure you follow the same steps. You'll see as I do this in a much faster speed, the steps are the same, the process is, is the same and nothing changes. Now. What I had to do was, I went from Argentina to Australia with all my mates. I, I went to the deep outback in the wilderness. I fought off crocodiles, I fought off snakes, kangaroos, wallabies, and all of that. And then I went and learned this technique here. And I just love showing this stuff on here with you guys on YouTube. Look, if you guys have any problems, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments below. I'm here to help you guys. I'm just here for you guys to learn. This is the YouTube Barber Academy. I'm Mr. Eddie Barber. I'm the coolest damn guy on YouTube. And this is why I'm here to help you. So as you see there quickly, the guide is gone. See there, same steps. One guard, lever open, one inch guide line. Easy money, easy to execute, easy simple steps to follow and for you to learn. You see here, I've got that wall half and I'm just buffing out that line that I left with the envies with the lever open. My tools are set up properly. My open flows into my half. I don't even have to come back with the lever open and use the corners like some people do because I'm just so damn cool. You see that? 
one and a half guard with the lever open, going up straight off of the parry idol ridge. Typically guys, I don't fade like this in the shop. I just go around the, the entire head. I don't fade in sections because I think it's a waste of time. I think it's a lot easier if you just go all the way around the head and complete each step, one and done, boom, boom, boom. But for YouTube, I have to do steps like this just to make you guys comprehend it a little bit better and you get a better visual by seeing me focus on one particular area rather than going around the entire head. I apologize. Someone was trying to call me. They're trying to ruin your learning experience. So as you see here, I'm just going up with the wall half. I've got the one, I've got the wall half, I've got the one and a half, I've got it all, I'm doing it all. You're seeing it right here. I'm putting mo poetry into motion. And that's what you see here in this tutorial. See, after I was done in Australia learning all of these good techniques, I traveled all the way up to Malaysia, to Cambodia, to Vietnam, to the Philippines, to everywhere, Indonesia, all of those Southeast Asian countries. I've went there, I've studied all these techniques, and I'm here to bring it to YouTube. Now, you see, I'm using my thinning shears just to connect the, uh, the shorter hairs to the longer hairs. I could have used clipper over comb, but this is another alternative. So now I'm just styling his hair. I'm using a pomade. He's trying to grow his comb over back. His hair quite isn't that long in the fringe area, which I told him, give it about a month, let that hair grow about an inch or two, and then we'll be able to properly comb the hair over. But for the hair and now, as you see, I'm combing the hair diagonally forward right before the fringe. And what I'm gonna do with that fringe area, I'm gonna pump it up and slide it over to the side there. So as you see, diagonal forward to the fringe, and I'm just making sure I work all that product in and I'm just combing his hair in the direction that is naturally growing. I'm not trying to force the hair to do anything. As you can see, it's very simple, easy steps. Diagonal forward, and you can see how heavy that pomade is. It has a really nice hold to it. And now I'm just gonna pump it up in the front. You can see, like I said, in this fringe, it's not as long yet because he buzzed his hair off. He did the fatal mistake of going to another barber. Instead of coming to me, he wanted to pay $10 for a haircut instead of paying the $30 for me to get a good haircut, and he paid the price. But see, I got him in here. You see what I did, the fade looks good. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Leave some comments, like, share this video, and don't forget to subscribe and press that notification bell because I've got tutorials coming every week, guys. It's Mr. Eddie Barber. I'll see you guys in the next one. The way the giveaway works is like this. A week from Friday, I will be drawing the winner. The winner has five days to notify me and claim the prize. If not, I will redraw. I will notify the winner in the comments. So whatever comment wins, I will leave a comment under that comment, letting you know that you're the winner and you have to hit me up on IG. I'm not hitting you up through email or anything like that. That's the way the giveaway is gonna work. But I wanna let you know, the more important thing to know is this. You need to share the video, like it, and leave a comment. You can leave as many comments as you like, but you have to leave a comment. I'll use a YouTube brand or comment picker to determine the winner. Good luck with everyone.